Happy feast day, January the 6th, the feast day of the Epiphany, the manifestation in Greek, the, the showing of Jesus, God the Son, to the three kings and in and through them to the Gentile world, to the non-Jewish world, that is to you and me, to the world outside the realm of the Jews. These three mysterious characters always intrigue me. Year after year, they come from the East. They say that they have seen the star rising in the East. They tell Herod in Jerusalem, and they have come to do this king homage, to worship him. And those words are full of meaning. Full of meaning because they are not just followers of a star, a star, by the way, which disappeared uh, during the day, which disappeared behind clouds, which must have been very difficult to follow in all kinds of terrain, and yet they, they persevere and they keep going because something is driving them on to find what is the meaning of this star and what is it leading to. So these are seekers, these are searchers, these are people who are looking for something, something greater, something beyond themselves. And when they find it, they are willing to worship him. And that is key. There are so many people in our world today who consider themselves spiritual people, who, who seek after a certain kind of impersonal force or impersonal God who, who doesn't make personal demands on them, who is a creation of their own seeking. But the three kings, when they find the infant king, they kneel down and they worship him. This is the essence of religion. It is something that we tie ourselves to. Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments. Take up your cross each day and follow me. He is a personal God who makes personal demands because he loves us. Not because he's an impersonal God who, who is some way unreasonably demanding of us. He is in fact a personal God who has lived our human condition, who is still human, and who knows that our redemption can only be attained through the carrying of our daily cross in the bits and pieces of every day, knowing that he's right there with us. And we keep going, just like the three kings, that star disappearing, that star behind the clouds, that star in good times and in bad, and yet they, they kept following it. They inspire us to keep going. Let us be inspired by them. Let us learn from them the gift of perseverance, that God is with us, that life has meaning, and that the star will lead us to the one who was born in the stable, to the one who we meet at Mass, to the one we speak to in prayer, to the one we get healing from through the sacrament of confession and the anointing of the sick, to the one who whispers into our ear, I am with you and I love you. Amen. Amen.